So we're going to complete this part of the gradient animations with this last function, which is this move to window. So this is where we're going to create the animation for the gradient. So you see that here we create this constant, which is gradient animation, which is an instance of CA basic animation, and we're going to animate the locations. And it works like animate with duration. So we're going to have a from and to value and also a duration. And the new thing here is that we have repeat count to indicate how many times we want to repeat the animation. And here in that case, it's going to be infinity. So we're going to keep looping through the animation. So what we're going to do is adding first as a sub layer. So this new layer that we have created for the gradient. So that's going to be add sub layer. So it's going to be layer add sub layer and I'm going to take as a parameter so the gradient layer that we have just created there you go so that's going to be added to whichever view that we apply so which is going to be a UI view in that case in our on our storyboard and finally we're going to add the sub layer and the animation so we could actually just put that right here so I think this is what I meant to indicate so just to keep things clean and finally the gradient layer we're going to add this animation so it's going to be two parameters. So first the animation that we have just defined. So that this one is named gradient animation. And for the key, we're just going to keep nil because we just have one animation. So we're going to try that. We should be able to see actually once we go to our storyboard. Now we have our new text. So this is the text attribute that we have earlier defined, you know, the text attribute and IB inspectable. So here you can write whichever text that you want. We could also write casino. It takes a text attribute that you can update right directly in the inspector attribute like so. So I'm going to write slot machine again. That's going to be the title of our game. So we're going to save this and we're going to run it on our machine. You're going to see that now we're going to be able to see a gradient. There you go. So that was pretty simple. So what we did is creating a new class, which is a subclass of UI view and create a gradient animator, a gradient layer from this class. Then we have to define so the different attributes such as, so the start endpoints, the colors, the location. We created the mask then and an IB inspectable. We must always use layout subviews in order to display, to be able to display this one on our storyboard. And finally, create the animation, which is going to take the locations of the gradient as a key path and add these animations to the gradient.